Here's how to use Cash App. Use the clickable sections below to skip through different parts of this tutorial. The main functions of Cash App are sending money, receiving money, spending and investing. Before you can start using Cash App, you'll need to either link a bank account or a debit card. We're going to link a debit card to the account. Launch the Cash App on your mobile device and you'll be taken to the green Cash screen. Tap on the amount in the bottom left corner to get to the home screen and you'll see your account summary. Your Cash App balance will be displayed here. Tap Add Debit Card, Add Credit Card or Link Account at the bottom. We already have an account linked, so we'll tap on Linked Accounts and then replace our existing debit card. Proceed to add the rest of your card details and then tap Add Card. Your debit card will now be linked to your Cash App within minutes and you can start sending and receiving money. You can send money instantly to peers using Cash App. Go to the Cash tab by tapping the money icon at the bottom. Type in the amount of money you want to pay someone and then click Pay. You can type in the name, email or phone number of someone else using Cash App here. Next to 4, you can add details here to help the person identify what the payment's for. Underneath the cash amount, it'll say whether the money is being transferred from your Cash App balance or from your linked account or debit card. Tap here and select where you want the money to be transferred from. Click Pay in the top right corner and the payment will be made instantly. You can also send money to someone else by scanning their Cash App code. Using Cash App codes are a faster way to send and receive money as you don't need to type someone's details in every time. If you want to scan someone else's code, tap here from the Cash screen. To show someone your own code, tap my code at the bottom. When you receive money on Cash App, the money will be added to your Cash App balance instantly. Check if you've been paid by going to the Activity tab by tapping on the clock icon. All your payments will be listed. You can send a request to a Cash App user to prompt them to send you what you're owed. To request a payment, go to the Cash tab by tapping the money icon at the bottom. Use the number keys to type the amount you want to request and then tap Request. Add the contact's name, email or phone number and next to 4, type in the reason for the request. Tap Request in the top right to confirm. If they accept, the amount will be added to your balance and you can check your payments in the Activity tab. If someone's paid you and you can't see it in your account, go to the Activity tab. At the top, you should see their payment listed under Pending. On the right hand side, there'll be an Accept icon. Tap here to approve the payment and it'll be added to your Cash App balance instantly. This is how much cash you currently have in the app. Tap Add Cash and then use the keypad to enter the amount you want to add from your bank account. Tap Add at the bottom and confirm the transaction. Your money will be added instantly to your Cash App balance. Rather than withdrawing money to your linked bank account or debit card, you can also spend your balance directly from the app using the Cash App card. Tap the card icon at the bottom and then Get Free Cash Card. You can then create your virtual card, which you can use to spend your Cash App balance. Once you've created it, you'll also be sent a physical card you can use in the mail.
You can use your Cash App balance to invest in stocks and Bitcoin for free. Tap the graph icon at the bottom to launch your investment page. You'll see a graph showing how your investments are performing over time. At the top, filter your investments between stocks and Bitcoin. Below the graph, tap the different time frames to change the time period of your graph. Let's take a look at how our stocks have done this week. Tap on My Investments to see a summary of how much you've invested to date and how your investments are doing overall. Under Portfolio, you'll see a breakdown of how each of your stocks are performing that day. To buy or sell a share, find the share you want in the investment page and tap on it. A page will appear showing you the stock's current price and its daily performance. To buy a share, tap Buy and then the amount you want to spend. Tap Next and continue to verify your identity. You can sell a stock by tapping Sell instead of Buy and the balance will be transferred into your Cash App account instantly. You can also buy or sell Bitcoin instead of a stock by tapping on the Bitcoin tab and using the Buy and Sell functions. In the Bitcoin section, you can also transfer Bitcoins instead of money to other Cash App users by using the Send icon.